Welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook, and today we are going to be painting these cute little chicks that just hatched out of their eggs. This is one of the references that were going to be used. I thought it looked so cute because this little chick obviously just hatched. He still looks kind of wet and scraggly, and he's got this cute little piece of um, eggshell right on top of his head. This is the other image I found on Google, and I thought it would be fun to have a few other of this little chick's companions with him. So this is what I'll be looking at while I draw. So I have this Bible verse today from my devotions that talks about Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And that reminded me of um, the perseverance that a baby chick needs to have to break out of its shell. And um, a shell isn't an easy thing to break. And so he really has to work hard. And they say if you interrupt that little baby chick from doing its work, you actually injure it and you make it weaker. So you just let a baby chick do its thing and um, break out of its shell. And uh, that makes it a stronger bird in the long time, in the long run. So here I am just sketching in one of these little chicks. And I'm just looking for basic shapes. Now here's this little tail here. And what is the shape? It's almost a triangle here. And I see that he bulges out on one side and comes down here, and where are the legs in relationship to that little tail? Well, one comes down here, and one is over here. This is a little bit in shadow, so it's hard to see, but I'm gonna do the best I can here, creating his, what his feet look like. I'm just going lightly. Actually, if I was drawing this for just for myself, I would um, draw even lighter. It's so much easier to erase when you draw lightly. Now this little baby chick is um, got his little feathers all sticking out all over the place. They still look a little wet. And, um, but I'm not going to put that detail in yet. I am just going to put um, the general shape. And so here is the one little last piece of eggshell on his head. And uh, there is some eggshells, his eggshell sitting next to him that he just hatched out of. So we want to create this little, that's a little exaggerated. I can go back and adjust and correct. So this is the round shape and here's the egg right next to him. And here are some buddies waiting to come out of their eggs. Another egg here and another egg here. And I want to put a couple of more chicks in here, so I'm going to pull up a different picture so I can 
see that. So maybe I'll put this little guy back here. Make sure his face is not just a little triangular beak and his little eyes there. So they're like their little litter mates or hatchling mates. His legs would be hidden down here. Check over here. Make this one a little different. He's sitting down. A little more squished. Is like his little back leg. Maybe he's saying, what just happened? Where am I? Who are you people? Just hatching out of an egg. Wow. That would be his first moments on earth out of his shell. Looks, he's got, looks like a little bit of a suggestion of a wing there. So we'll just give him a little, there, I like that. Okay. Um, Let's put some little pieces of egg on the ground because what happened to the rest of his eggshell? So now I'm done with drawing my chicks in and it's time to get out my pen. Now this is a permanent pen. It's a micron pen and a real fine line, but you could use a Sharpie, a real fine line mark Sharpie, or you could use a ballpoint pen, which works very well. Um, but you just don't want it, you want it to be waterproof because we are going to be painting over this. So what I'm doing is I'm just, instead of drawing an outline on the chicks, I am using tiny little lines that look like the tiny little feathers that are on this baby chick. So it's real soft and cute. If you want to make them scra even more scraggy, scraggly, than he actually is. You can make them longer and um, add your details, any less details you want to add now, and then get out an eraser and clean everything up before we start to paint. So now I am going to use my watercolors and these are my, this is my watercolor kit it's gotten a lot of use um, <clears throat> a lot of painting going on and it's a great little kit it has lots of colors 
And this one, look at all the yellows this has. This is fun because it has so many yellows. And be, yellows are a tough, a little bit tough to paint with. You just have to play with it and um, use contrast. Think about using some contrast. So I'm going to start with a light yellow and put a little uh, wash and think about where I'm going to pretend the light's coming from this direction. And so I'm going to put my lightest colors here on the parts that would get um, the brightest, the light, uh, the brightest light on it. So they're going to be the, the lightest. And um, then I think I'm going to, I'm going to choose a darker color and I'll try it out and see if it's works. If there's a little contrast under here. This looks pretty good. We want our little chicks once again just to be as sweet and as newborn and fresh here. That's a little darker color we can put in under the shaded areas. And so back here would be darker. We don't want our chicks to be all the same color. They should be a little variety. And then if you leave a little white, that's okay too. It just kind of lets the paper show through and it gives the chicks a little bit of sparkle, like a highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of orange and I'll add a little more water to it so it's not too dark. And I'll use that as like a shadow color here. Right underneath. So it gives the chick roundness. And I think I'll use that same orange to make their little feet and up their beak. I'll just put touch it in there for the beak. There we go. And we need to decide on the color of the eggs. Are they a fancy egg? Are they kind of a blue egg? Or a brown egg? On one hand, like to make it a fancy color, but on the other, let's just kind of make them a, I'll put another little different color in there of yellow. Use that. See, now I went out of the line. I'm not going to get crazy about that. That's okay. Now I want to let there be contrast between this egg back here and this one in front. So I'm just going to take a little bit of color like that and go around right here so we can see the difference. Just touching that color in there. And then this is a little hard edge, so I'm going to just soften that up by going over it with a wet brush. Not real wet. I wiped the edge of the brush off a lot so I can lift that color. So it flows a little bit, but it um, gently fades into white. And I'll do the same here wipe my brush off a lot. Just kind of let it softly go to that color. Okay, and now we have our egg that is opened. 
And so what we have to do here is to create contrast with the color it is on the bottom. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. With watercolor, when you have the water in here, you can kind of play with your color and move it around. So on, while it's wet, you can do it. So you kind of get used to playing with it a little bit. So I want to lift a little bit of that color. A little darker in the bottom. You know what you can also do to move color? You can just tip it and color will kind of go in that direction. Let's see if, if I add a little water to this. See how it's moving the paint around and if I go like that, do you see how it goes to the bottom of the page? So I can tip it like that and just let it naturally create that variation there. Nice smooth variation. Okay, but the inside of the egg now, I'm going to use kind of a little, a different tone so that there's, I don't want it white because it's actually a little darker inside. So right here, I'm gonna leave it light And then I'm going to put a little dark up here. Now this is all a little bit wet. So now I can just take my brush with the wet brush and just let the water Move it around so that it goes from dark right here to lighter down here. So there's that contrast that we want. Want it darkest along the edge. And then we have our little shells. So we can give them a little color to match the other shells. And I forgot the one on his head. Her head? His head? Don't know. And we also need a little bit of a shadow under these. So I will use, let's see. Bring a little bit of a, a blue in here. Now if my light's coming this way, I'm going to have some shadows over here. And everything has a little shadow. The um, birds have a shadow. It just kind of makes them look like they're sitting on the ground. I just want to be careful because... These are a little wet still, and I don't want to touch them. And I just did that. Oops. That's what I get for not waiting. Till it's dry, or we'll just let it all do its thing. There, it just kind of sets it there. Okay, now I'm not crazy about this little guy's eye here. So what can I do? Maybe I can make it look not so. There, just a little bit bigger. But I do like this little guy's eyes here. This little side. Our vertical lines. I 
That's a little better. And that's all I'm going to do. It's just a quick little sketch. Um, get it done to help illustrate the Bible verse. And um, I can put the date. And I have another page finished in my sketchbook for today. And I like to have that accomplishment done. I like to have um, thought about something uh, very important in the morning that helps me to be um, strong and faithful during the day. And I figure it out with a picture. I like to remember things with pictures because that's just the way I'm wired. So um, this is my picture for today of our little birds, and they have triumphed over this challenge of coming out of the, breaking out of the shell, and uh, have developed perseverance through it. So thank you for that. Spending this time with me and um, at Mimi Sketchbook, I hope you give it a try and have some fun. Bye-bye. God bless your day.